Hi everybody, this is Deb. So a while back, might even been October or early November, I can't remember exactly. I think late October, but eh, anyway. Bead Park was kind enough to send me a lot of beads that I got to pick and um, for a certain amount, you know, including shipping. And I did a video showing all those beads, but I never got around to making things with them. So um, you are looking at what I've made so far. I owe them yet another. Uh, I have a lot more ideas, you know. <laughs> so I'll just, since it's been so long, I'm going to just show you quickly. I got a package that had, I believe, five of these beads. Um, so there's that color. There's a pink and a dark blue and there's this cream color and um, stay th keep those in mind because out of these two you're going to have an option here in a little while then these beautiful beads i only have that many left there were 52 beads and i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten left of those and then there were 110 of this goldish color metal bead, um, 111, excuse me. I don't know how many. I used quite a few because this bag was full like, um, like this. And actually I have a couple, only four out of this though. So, you know, I probably used a third of the bag of the gold ones and I have them also in this bronze they come on a string like this and this one had 110 beads the other two had 111 so this is what these same beads here look like in blue they are glass beads but with a gold finish on them and they're really pretty this almost looks like it's like a fake lapis but it's glass it's beautiful so i didn't get to use that i also got these white beads because i thought you could always use white beads these are what millimeter eight millimeter and these i believe are also let me see um yes eight millimeter these are eight millimeter as well so i only use the the turquoisey ones and then they had these bags of um packs of hang on i had to put this tray down of drops and i got them in red and in um clear a b and they're silver metal on the back so i did make two pair of earrings with those um and then i feel like i'm oh and then i got um these glass beads here they came in a pack of five and they're blue with like pink and gold floral painted on them oops now i had that all pretty and i messed it up <laughs> anyway i also got a bag of five of their like a brown or topaz with pink flowers i didn't use them yet but that's going to be one of our options for a tutorial and then uh, yeah i had five pieces of those i used all of those and then um the other thing i got was this bag of glass faceted six millimeter um what do you call them just glass like crystal almost they're very sparkly um, so far i've used two red two clear and all of this sort of aqua color so that i know there's 14 on here 15 16 17 18 19 20. so there were 20 of that color and i used all of them and i know i counted to make sure i'd have 14 left of this two four 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I have 16 left of that and I used two of them. So there were 18 red. So like between roughly 18 and 20 per color, it looks like. And I used um, two of the clear. Now, so let me just show you what I did with this. I made like a sweet again and then I made some extra earrings. I decided just to make a strung necklace. I think it's beautiful and I don't usually work in much gold but because this aqua bead which is so gorgeous 
like a aqua turquoise kind of color almost. It's a little lighter than turquoise. I'd say more of a hmm, sky blue maybe with um, gold on it. And I don't remember what they're called, but I will have links to all the products as, if I can still find them on their website down below. Um, and this is one of the beads. And originally I thought tassel, right? Everybody thinks tassel. And I thought, you know what? No, I'm just going to do a focal bead strung necklace. And I used only their beads, only part beads. And last night when I started on this, I swore this was gold. But now it sort of has like a, I don't know, sort of a silvery gold. It, it different in daylight, <laughs> even though I had lights on and stuff, of course. But um, yeah, so. Um, what I added to it that was mine is the beading wire, crimp beads, and I used wire guardians here to hook onto a lobster claw, which I also got out of my stash. And this is a closed jump ring. This, um, it's the only size closed gold jump ring I had that would, you know, for so it won't come apart when you're um, hooking your lobster clasps to it. That I thought was sturdy enough and it looked nice with it and um, yeah, so um, so that's it. Everything else on that was from Bead Park. So thank you so much Bead Park. I love it and I will be selling this. I haven't priced it yet, but um, it'll probably be up in my Etsy shop by and I am. I don't know. I'm having trouble getting rid of that one. <laughs> so then I made the earrings. And also, I only had these kidney ear wire or studs, and I went with the kidney ear wire. I put on another closed jump ring, wire wrapped this little bead dangle, and then I wire wrapped one of the glass beads uh, onto that with um, one of the gold beads on the bottom. So I made a pair of those. And then I just made a pair with th these other glass beads. Oops. The only problem with the kidney wires is they're secure in the back, but they're not all closed there in the front. So they will look like, like that. Oops, sort of hanging on your ear. <laughs> they're a little shorter and they're just these beads, the, the um, glass and then the metal bead. This is actually part of a head pin and it looked like another glass bead. So I use that for the bottom instead of adding another a metal bead, I mean. So that is that. And then I was trying to figure out a bracelet because I wanted to use these blue beads with the flowers on and I only had three left because they come in a pack of five. So here I use two for earrings. So I wanted a bracelet with at least one as a focal point, right? This is not a stretch bracelet, so it's not going to bend right over my wrist. It is a seven inch bracelet and I can show you that as soon as I figure out what I do with my board. Um, let me turn it around so you can see it. So closed, it is a seven inch bracelet. And my thought was you have these in the front as focals and then these. Well, originally I put two more of these on because it was too short, even with the clasp there. Well, then it was too long. It was all the way up to seven and three quarter, which like swum on my wrist. So I really wanted it to be seven to seven and a quarter snug. And that's what it is. So what I had to do is take those set of like a set of that again off and all I used was just the last two of these glass um, sparkly beads in the back so I used up all of that color like I said I used up all of these really beautiful glass beads that are painted on I think they're they seem to be lamp work but don't hold me to that they may not be and then these other glass beads so I just made a chain bracelet with it. So that is what I did with for that whole set. And now I will sell them all as separate pieces. And then for these, the earring um, finding, which is a lever back or lever back, however you say it, is mine. I say lever back. Um, here I just took a piece of silver plated wire and I wire wrapped the silver beads with the clear uh, glass that came from Bead Park. And then 
um, this came from Bead Park. And then these little, I, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do at the bottom, and they're already pretty long, but they're not closed on the bottom. They have a loop, so I figured, well, I got to put something on the bottom. So I went digging. I was originally thinking of some kind of little heart charm, but these little keys I found were in my inventory, and they sort of have a heart shape up here. So for the clear ones, I made them so that the keys, when this is facing front, the keys face opposite directions. And then for the red ones up here, I made them so that the keys face inward <laughs> when you have them on. So, and I think I made them exactly the same way, just different colors of the of the uh, charm, the glass dangles and the glass beads. So these are out of that same pack of, let's see, how many did you get in there? 200 pieces of these glass crystal beads. And of course, like I showed, I separated them by color just to figure out what I was gonna do with them. And I'm either gonna use red or topazy color in my tutorial video. So here's your choices, guys. If you, if you were gonna want a tutorial of any of these things, which things would it be? And um, I am leaning towards another necklace in this style, but with the, what did I just do with it? Either the red. Now with the red, I, I'd have to use, I'd have to dig out some beads from my stash unless I use white with the silver and the red because I don't have any of these kind of beads in a red tone. Or, and that would be with silver because this is silver finding, silver on here. Or we could do the neutral with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bronze with that, I think. Let me find them here. Maybe, here they are. With the bronze and then with the topaz beads so those are our choices so the necklace or would you rather I which I'm gonna make anyway but or would you rather I teach you how to make a chain link bracelet or necklace you could make a necklace or I could make, I could do that too I could make a mm, I think I'd rather if I'm going to use this as a focal bead I'd rather have it done this way um, and I tried to make simple projects because I know I have to do a tutorial. N none of this is hard rocket science stuff. It just takes a little time to put it together. This is basic wire wrapping as are the earrings. Um, but if you want to learn, or if you want to learn crimping, I can teach you that as well. So in the comments below, let me know what your preference would be for a tutorial because I did say to Bead Park I would do a tutorial. And since I have so many more beads, another option I thought of is making a necklace to go with this since it's close to Valentine's Day. And just having um, probably five different layers across the front and some silver chain and these little color beads. But if I do that, then I can't do this necklace in red, which might be all right since I don't have, I think maybe we'll do that. I think we'll forego, <laughs> making the decision for you. We're gonna forego the red necklace like this and make one with these dangles on it. And I'll save that other big bead for a, um, I don't know, bead of charm or a future necklace. And I think we'll do another one of these, I will in um in the neutral color because i think anyway that might sell better too i don't know because it goes with more so i think that would be very pretty in like the antique bronze color this is more of a gold as well but it's more of a pale gold almost like a rose gold but i don't have enough rose gold so i think the bronze will go with it all right guys i hope you enjoyed that Please do comment as soon as possible because I want to absolutely get the tutorial up by, um, I'm going to say by Sunday um, because I'm already late with it. And, um, and I will have a link to Bead Park 
down below this video as and if I can find the items that I got I will link them all or at least tell you what the item code is so that you can look them up on the website and I would like to thank Bead Park for being patient with me I know they they contacted me but I said they'd wait for me but um, I didn't want to be any longer with this so I think the pieces came out great let me know what you thought and um, and also what your tutorial preference would be a strung necklace with crimping or a wire wrap bracelet or wire wrapping in general so those are your choices let me know guys thank you hugs love and peace have a great week